Service, community, academics, and athletics can be felt throughout the building. The atmosphere at De La Salle is very natural, it's very inviting, it's very warm and welcoming. When I say that, I don't think it's just from our students, I think it's from everyone in the building, from our teachers, our staff, uh, at our, our administration, where if you walk through our hallways in the school, you'll see many teachers, you'll see the principal saying hello to people by name. Everybody knows everybody, and it's not so much that it's a small school or anything like that, it's just that everybody really gets to know you and, and knows you on a more personal level. Everyone's kind to you, they want you to be involved, they try to help you as much as you can, especially teachers, they like take time out of their day to make sure you're keeping up in class and that you're okay. Our state-of-the-art facility includes LCD projectors, cameras, and microphones in each classroom, which host average class sizes of 22 to 24 students. The Makerspace and Engineering Lab is one of my favorite rooms. It's home to our Project Lead the Way Introduction to Engineering, Tech Drawing, and Robotics classes. The 3D printers and CNC machine allow students to design and build right on site. De La Salle is very advanced when it comes to technology. I can't remember the last time I turned in an assignment on paper. Everything is submitted via Schoology. Schoology is a database slash website we use to upload and submit our assignments, and that's where we also get our schoolwork. De La Salle is very progressive when it comes to innovations in technology. Joshua was accepted into Georgetown University, uh, Villanova, uh, Seton Hall, Indiana University, Drake University, and he ended up receiving a full academic ride to North Carolina uh, a &T. So from a, an academic perspective, that just goes to show you uh, how prepared he was for college. And, and what they did here at De La Salle was, when he was a freshman, uh, we met with his advisor. And that first meeting wasn't just about, hey, welcome to De La Salle, you know, here. That first meeting was like, you need to start thinking about college. This is his freshman year. Our media center and library is open before and after school, providing meeting space, research tools like EBSCO, and offices for our academic deans. De La Salle is an actual representation of the world. You get to see people from everywhere. You're not limited to one type of people or one group of people or one socioeconomic status. So it really represents the world and how you navigate the world. I have yet to go to other schools and see a school that is so inclusive, so diverse, and like just so upbeat. And I think all of the teachers motivate us to do better and to want to pursue higher education. And extracurriculars are so important for students um, as it gives them you know, so many more lessons outside the classroom. It gives them the time management lessons. It gives them the um, real world experience. It allows them to explore themselves and, and explore more about them um, outside of a classroom environment. I'm in six clubs and three sports, so obviously I talk with a lot of students. I talk to a lot of teachers. So like you feel like you're part of something bigger with the school. I'm here like from seven to five a lot. So like you feel like you're a part of it. The chapel is obviously an important part of our identity. Here, theology classes meet for prayer, meditation, and mass. Peer ministers host open prayer each week before school. And you'll notice the statue of Francis and Claire here from our old Lord's Hall location, symbolizing our new era of co-ed campus. Faith, service, and community are uh, a big part of De La Salle. Um, it, it's kind of like our motto, our slogan, you know. Faith means a lot to me because um, I am Muslim and I go to a Catholic school. I've never felt like religion was pressed on me. They provide a basis for faith, but they don't force you to become something that you're not. The teachers don't force the religion upon you. They like 
They don't judge you if you have any other religion. I have Mr. Wood right now, and he's like, it doesn't matter if you're Catholic or something else. He's like, I want you, like, it's fine. I just want you to be involved and, like, understand where we're coming from. It is a requirement at D to have a certain amount of service hours each year, but each of the service experiences I've had really made me feel better about myself because I was able to give back to the community in some way, shape, or form. The athletic facilities at Deal Sal are second to none. New athletic fields, weight room, and outstanding locker room facilities are just some of our amenities, as we offer 35 varsity sports for young men and women. I feel like coming here has made me a better player, but, but more importantly, it's made me a better person. It's made me understand how to um, interact with people. Meeting new people on the baseball side also helped. I knew a lot of people that came here for baseball, and that was a big part of my decision but also meeting new people that I wouldn't have met before. De La Salle has prepared me a lot for college, I would say. It's taught me a lot about time management, and it's also taught me about being active within a community. Like, De La Salle has a whole bunch of clubs and sporting events that you can join, and De La Salle has given me a basis to know how to branch out. We're so proud of our campus here. I could talk all day, but I'm gonna save some for when you come back for a visit. Until then, go Meteors. Sizes. Also, the city of Chicago may have relaxed masks wearing directives, but we have not. Masks are required to be worn at all times while on our campus. Washrooms are, op are open in the Harrison Hall foyer. You can go through the right side of the courtyard doors and then stay to the right when you enter. You'll see the washrooms straight ahead. Although this baccalaureate and commencement is being held outdoors on our athletic field, please remember that we are celebrating with mass and that your participation and behavior should be appropriately respectful. We will all appreciate your cooperation on this, especially during the distribution of diplomas. Finally, please silence your cell phones and other electronic devices.
Once again, good evening. On behalf of the administration, faculty, and students of De La Salle Institute, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our baccalaureate mass and commencement exercises. We are pleased that you could join us in person or via this video feed to prayerfully celebrate the successful completion of the class of 2021's secondary studies. This evening marks the conclusion of high school education for these young women and men. Tonight is also the beginning of a new era for them. No longer a student, but an alumnus of De La Salle, an adult on the doorstep of new challenges, armed with the knowledge needed to meet those challenges. Through their efforts at De La Salle, our graduates have become responsible human beings who will move into their adult life with the knowledge and sensitivity to make a contribution to the world and to God. We celebrate this accomplishment today as a community of Christian believers. And it is fitting and proper that graduates, followed by the De La Salle faculty, board of directors, administration, and our celebrant, the Reverend Paul E. Novak, president of De La Salle Institute.
We gather together this evening in the holy presence of God as we pray together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and fellowship of the Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening, class of 2021. Good evening, family, guardians who are here tonight in our cathedral under the stars. You have waited to celebrate this moment. Let's give them a nice round of applause, shall we? As we gather here tonight, we come to celebrate a number of firsts as we gather to celebrate this 126th baccalaureate celebration here for De La Salle Institute. You, the members of the class of 2021, are the first co-educational class to ever graduate from De La Salle in its 131 years of history. Give yourselves a round of applause for that. You are the second class in De La Salle's history to survive a pandemic. Give yourselves a round of applause for that. You, as family and friends, come from a variety of faith traditions to gather here tonight to ask for one thing, and that one thing is for God's blessing to be upon these young minds and strong hearts as they journey forward from this place onto their great futures. So with that spirit in mind, we gather here together to call upon God's blessing to be with them. And so as we join together tonight, we ask for God loving and merciful to lead and guide us through the journey of our lives. We ask for God to be with us this night to help these young women and men succeed through the journey of their lives. And so we pray. Lord Jesus, you invite us here and send forth your mercy to lead and guide us through the journey of faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you provide food for the journey as we gather at your table of plenty. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you send forth your spirit so that our actions in this world will bring hope and healing to the world in which we live. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting.
let us pray. May your Holy Spirit, O Lord, strengthen us with spiritual gifts, that through our acceptance of those gifts, we might continue to grow in faith, hope, love, and in service of you, Almighty God, and of each other in this life. May the gift of your Spirit strengthen our lives of service for you and for each other. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Our first reading tonight will be read by Matthew Chavez, and the second reading will be read by Sidney Schaefer, co-mayors of the City of D and the members of the Class of 2021. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There's a time for everything, and a season for every acti activity under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to uproot. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to tear down, and a time to build. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain, a time to search, and a time to give up, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to mend, a time to be silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time no. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory, glory to you to lord. lord on the evening of the first day of the week when the doors were locked where the disciples were out of fear jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them peace be with you when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. And Jesus said to them again, 
peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. Four short years ago, you entered De La Salle Institute with a liturgy something similar to this one. We called it a Mass of the Holy Spirit to begin our academic year. And every year since, we've celebrated this way. And the gospel we read tonight was the gospel that was proclaimed four years ago. So that you might remember your journey in the Spirit of God, that that journey in the Spirit of God has led you to this sacred moment in your life's journey. But it's only one more step along the way. And tonight, just as Jesus, you have learned those lessons over the last four years with us. And now it's time, as Jesus said and spoke the Spirit to his disciples, and said, go and do what I taught you. Go and do and live the Spirit of God in your minds and in your hearts. Go and let loose that Spirit of God upon the world. Tonight's last lesson here at De La Salle Institute is so that you can drink in the Spirit of God, that you can drink in the Spirit of Saint LaSalle, so that you can drink in and remember the things that your teachers and the faculty and staff have taught you. To be grateful for just one minute to your families who have believed in you, supported you, paid your tuition, watched over, protected you, healed you, and cared for you in the midst of your illnesses. To say, one word of gratitude to them tonight for having your back, watching you, protecting you, guiding you. It's not perfect. It never is perfect. And none of you anticipated having to live through a pandemic and what that would mean for your academic careers and what that would mean for your school. But you never gave up. And so tonight I want to honor you because as an educator, you have spent this year teaching me a great deal of life's lessons. You as meteors taught me that you are united and resilient, that your resilience won't let you be kept back but that you are determined all that much more to persevere. That you are determined that through the challenges and the obstacles that you will never give up, never give in. That when faced with hatred, you can find forgiveness and peace. So meteors, tonight is your night. You have an obligation. When you leave this place tonight, which is your home, it will always be your home. You will always be welcomed here because we are Meteors United. And as you continue to embrace this gift, of spirit of Saint LaSalle in your lives, of the gift of God's blessing, of life and love and faith. You have built community as the class of 2021. And you have shown your medal by the gift of your service, courage, and determination. 
So tonight is your night, Meteors. It's your opportunity to light up this world with your great resolve, with your knowledge and wisdom, with your determination and faith. So let your meteor light shine upon our world. Let it shine upon all of the people that you encounter throughout the journey of your lives. Let your light be seen and felt and heard so that others who encounter you will be blinded by your goodness, your love, your faith, and your light. Congratulations. You deserve this graduation. St. John Baptist de La Salle. Pray for us. Our Lady of Lords. Pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts. Please stand. As we continue our liturgy, the intercessory prayers will be led by Class of 2021 members Samantha Brost and Ian Hopkins. We gather tonight with thanksgiving for all that has been accomplished and for all that we celebrate here this present night. And we rejoice with confidence for the future of all the blessings we will receive. And so we call upon our risen Lord and Savior with particular needs for our, our world and those of the church. Please respond to the general intercessions by saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the church may continue to reveal the light of Christ in the world. We pray that those who led us in faith, service, and community, especially our Holy Father, Pope Francis, the bishops, our parents and guardians, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all those who teach and learn, especially in the tradition of St. John Baptist de LaSalle and the worldwide LaSallean mission. We pray for administrators, staff, teachers, mentors, coaches, and moderators. That God may continue to inspire young people with faith and zeal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. May the Holy Spirit fill the church in this assembly with loving guidance and strength throughout our days. May the class of 2021 come to know their true vocation and receive the grace to live according to the gospel values that we have been taught. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who suffer from illness, poverty, or oppression. For victims of violence in their homes, in our communities, in our nation, and in our world. We remember especially all loved ones from the De La Salle community who have given their lives to service to the armed forces. And for the members of the class of 2021 who will be entering the armed forces soon. We pray for peace and compassion throughout our world and for the desire to promote life and love in all its forms. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for our families who have sacrificed time, energy, and money to provide us with a De La Salle education. We pray especially for the parents of the class of 2021 who have passed away. May their spirit continue to give us strength and fortitude for our future. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for the many benefactors, the generous donors, scholarship organizations, and foundations that have supported our education and contribute to the vitality of De La Salle Institute. May their generosity inspire us to give in return. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. 
We pray for the safety and well-being of the class of 2021. May they persevere in hope and remain steadfast in their dreams while sharing their meteor light with those most in need. May they be quick to return and always find a home at De La Salle. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We now call to mind all the prayers that remain in our hearts. May our prayers be united through the intercession of St. John Baptiste de La Salle and the mediation of our Mother Mary with the entire communion of saints, all for the glory of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the immeasurable effort that has led to the beauty of this day. Sustain us in our journey of bringing God's plan to life here on earth and thus the salvation of our souls that lead us to eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our gifts of bread and wine may be acceptable and pleasing to our God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name for our good and good of all the church. Please stand. Graciously accept our offerings, almighty God, and may these spiritual sacrifices make us an eternal offering to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For after his resurrection, he appeared to your disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers and angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Come 
So, Almighty God, as we present to you these simple gifts from our journey in faith, we ask that you send your Spirit upon them and make them holy for us, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, sharing it with his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and again, our God, he offered you thanks and praise. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, so that sin may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We So as we gather at this table of plenty, we remember the life, death, and resurrection of your Son, and we offer you, Almighty God, this bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence, ministering to you and to each other. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your people and church gathered throughout this world, Help us to grow together in faith, hope, love, freedom, peace, forgiveness, healing in this life. May the leadership of Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, the world's religious leaders continue to inspire us to grow deeper in that journey of faith. Remember all of our sisters and brothers, and especially those of the class of 21, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those that we have lost through the midst of this pandemic. Welcome them all in the light of your face. Watch over this class of 2021. Strengthen them as young people of faith, courage, and determination. May the gift of service and spirit be with them. May they continue to share and build community wherever they go. May the Lasallian spirit remain in their minds and on their hearts and through the journey of their lives. And may they know that they are always welcomed here in the community of Lasallians gathered here. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and saints, John Baptist de Lasalle, and all of those who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, O my Father, unity with the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor yours forever. Let us join together as we have been taught to pray. Let us call upon God's love and mercy to lead and guide us through the journey of our lives. And so we pray one. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. This is the Lamb of God that entered into this world so that we might know the meaning of love and forgiveness, hope and healing in our lives. This is the Lamb of God that invites us to come into his company and share the journey with him so that our faith may grow. Happy are we who have been called into his, his midst. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ lead and guide us toward everlasting life. Amen. Serving as ministers of communion today from our senior class, Alexa Acevedo, Samantha Brost, Ivy Delgadillo, Mackenzie Joya, Judith Hernandez, Alicia Plavansky, and Margaret Swanborn. Please be seated. We will have communion stations along the front and also along the center cross aisle. If you are receiving communion, please move to the outside of your row, around, go around to the back of your section, and then come down the center aisle. At the back of the section, we'll have our students there to, to uh, sanitize as you come forward to actually receive communion.
Let us pray. Almighty God, you have fed and nourished us with the gift of your Son's love and grace for the journey of our lives. Strengthen us, Almighty God, in our resolve to serve you and to serve our neighbor and friend. May we continue to bring forth the gift of peace and healing and reconciliation and an end to the violence of our times. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Please be seated. As we begin the presentation of the class of 2021, it is my pleasure to introduce the top seniors to deliver the valedictorian addresses in line with a long established custom. I'm happy to present Nadia Rose Muhammad and Frank Michael Galvin, our valedictorians. As I begin this speech, I would first like to congratulate each of the 191 graduates of the De La Salle class of 2021. I would like to congratulate the families by blood and by love to these wonderful individuals. Your guidance and support has played an integral role in your student success. I would like to thank De La Salle administration, teachers, and faculty who kept this school running and in order. All of your hard work has provided to an environment that has enabled us to grow and thrive. Thank you to my parents and grandparents who have provided me endless support in all of my endeavors. And a special thank you to my mom, who is the reason I'm standing here today as valedictorian. For many of us, Mr. Brogan was our first introduction to De La Salle. No matter what open house or shadow day you attended, it is guaranteed that you heard him ask the question, what is one, role, one word to describe De La Salle? As he went down the line pointing at students, you heard words like diverse, community, family, service. As we went from shadow to student, it fell on us to answer this question. And as I stand here today, my answer to this famous question is resilient. We are resilient. Our spirit is indomitable and our resilience has made De La Salle the place it is. During these past two years, we have each endured a struggle that was unprecedented for high school students. I cannot attest to the hardships you have each individually faced, but we have all been through a plethora of adversity. And yet, we have managed to achieve greatness and our presence here today is a testament to that. Our resilience has pushed us to advocate for change and not let any obstacles deter us from our goals. Last summer, it became apparent that there was a need to address racial turmoil in the country. We, as students of De La Salle, embraced that challenge within our school community. Some attended protests, many educated themselves on social justice issues, and a group of students and I, shout out to co-president Ian and the rest of the BSU leaders, established the first black student union in De La Salle history. As a school, we implemented and contributed to the Inc Inclusivity Committee and Meteors United. Beyond these trying times, I've learned resilience from my mother. My mother, throughout her life and the time I've known her, has constantly uplifted and exemplified what it means to be resilient. She is both my biggest supporter and my biggest inspiration. Every We back in here. <laughs> she is both my biggest supporter and my biggest inspiration. Everything I and my brothers have and will accomplish is both a testament to her strength and a continuation of our legacy. Graduation day, here we are. Who would have believed we started this journey together 1,460 days ago? 
In a time where Snapchat streaks were still important, 225 of us were introduced as the first co-educational freshman class of De La Salle Institute. And what a class we were. Over these past four years, we have seen ourselves grow into young men and women. When we were freshmen, the upperclassmen would always say, high school goes by fast. I wish they would have told me how fast fast is. Now we are getting ready to embark on our own journeys, start our own lives, and create our own legacies. We will no longer have the safety nets, and during this transition, we are expected to stumble. To that, I give you my favorite quote. The only guys that ever stumble is a guy moving forward. With that, I wish everyone many stumbles because I know each and every one of you is resilient enough to get back up. Thank you. Thank you, Nadia, for your speech, and good evening to everybody joining us here in person and those watching at home. Before I begin, I also want to issue a congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to my fellow students for making it through a difficult four years. To our parents, congratulations for seeing the actualization of all your children's hard work and seeing your investment of a quality education pay off. Lastly, congratulations to the teachers and faculty because, well, you guys don't have to deal with us anymore, so that's good. <laughs> But really, for seeing your own hard work pay off in producing such a group of intelligent and well-rounded students ready for the world at large. And I can say on behalf of the entire class, thank you for being our instructors these past four years. With the niceties out of the way, I want to shift gears to something I've been thinking a lot about lately, change. While I was mulling over this concept, I came across a quote by Alan Watts. The only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. This is a rather powerful quote to signify the only way to understand change is to embrace it. That sentiment seems to represent us as a class perfectly. Our entire high school career seems to have been marked by change if you think about it. I mean, we were the first four-year co-ed class. We've gained and lost teachers and classmates, and obviously we had to change with the pandemic, but I know we've all heard way too much about it, so I have no intention of harping on it anymore. <laughs> um, aside from those changes, I've seen personal changes in many of you. Whether they be physical, like you grew taller, intellectual, like you guys moved up to honor sophomore year, or even personality-wise, with so many of you becoming more confident, or even more of you becoming more stressed out. And of course, we will continue to change throughout our lives, especially with college coming up for so many of us. This change may evoke a sort of bittersweet feeling. We are leaving behind a comfortable stage in our lives for something new and exciting. Yet, you should not be afraid of this change, but rather, you should embrace it, as the quote suggests. Honestly, embracing changes is what helped me through these past four years and what allowed me to stand before you today. When we first began our high school career, the changes leveled at us were tremendous to say the least. A change of environment and more rigorous classes sure made the adjustment period difficult. But to quell this difficulty, I personally found it best to dive headfirst into my work, just to make sure I won't fall behind. Now, as obvious as that may sound, considering most of you know me and I'm giving this speech, it was really just doing my schoolwork that helped me adjust and overcome changes in the freshman year. And then came sophomore year, where classes kicked up even more, and we gained quite a few new classmates in the honors program. Now, while that last part may seem like a bit of a non sequitur, it was actually these new classmates that helped me succeed in the subsequent years. I opened myself up to these classmates and made some great friends. In particular, it was a few of these friends that really helped me succeed in the difficult classes. Honestly, I'm convinced that Chavez, Mackenzie, and I's late night cram sessions are the only thing that helped me pass every test sophomore year. But it didn't stop there. Having this tight-knit group of friends kept me excited to work hard and succeed throughout our last two years, especially through the times when we were fully remote last year. Despite the vast unknowns and challenges that high school presented us all, we were all able to find success by embracing the unknowns to understand our place at De La Salle and overcome any challenges thrown at us. Okay. I want to leave you all with this. Despite the unknowns that lie ahead of us, whether that means going off to college or entering the workforce, I know that each and every one of you can get through it if you just embrace what comes next and you find your group of people that are going to push you towards greatness. Though change is never easy, it is a constant in life and a necessity to grow as a person. But to take advantage of the changes and grow is difficult. It can only be done by not fearing the change, but embracing it and joining the dance as Watt suggests. I'm undeniably excited to see how you will all succeed in the future and change the world. And for that, I'm extremely proud and honored to be your co-valedictorian this year. 
Once again, congratulations to everybody, and I can't wait to see how it all change the world. Thank you. Thank you, Nadia and Frank. As a symbol in our roots in Christian education, Father Paul will now offer a blessing over our diplomas. Let us pray. Almighty God, we ask your blessing upon the class of 2021 from De La Salle Institute as they journey forward through, through their lives. May the gift of these diplomas help inspire them, help strengthen them, help them grow in zeal for faith in God, leadership in society and the church, and Christ-like service to others, especially the poor and those in need of charity and justice. Grant that these diplomas serve not just as a certificate of civic admiration, but as a reminder of the Lasallian ideals in which these young women and men have been formed in confidence. May they be transformed into the likeness of your son who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father Paul. As part of our commencement, we thought it would be most appropriate to ask the 30 parents who are De La Salle alumni or Lord High School alumni to join us in awarding their son or daughter a De La Salle diploma. At this time, I ask that those parents join Coach Mike Bain in the space behind me here on the left side of the altar stage. Come on down. Now it is time for our graduates to receive the official recognition of their accomplishments over the past four years. Their high school diploma. Those members of the class of 2021 who have, with honors, listed after their name are receiving an honors diploma for successfully completing the additional course of studies in the honors program. As the diplomas are awarded, we ask that you do not applaud for each individual, but recognize the entire class when all the diplomas are awarded. As the graduates proceed from the stage, they will receive their alumni pin from faculty members and De La Salle alumni, Mrs. Jackie Argenbright Perales, from the class of 2009, and Mr. Tim Coletti from the class of 2003. I now present to Father Paul Novak, President, and Mr. Thomas Sherrigan, Principal, the following women and men who have successfully completed the graduation requirements to be awarded diplomas and to become alumni of De La Salle Institute. Diplomas are awarded to 
Courtney Jean Abenante. Alexa Magdalena Acevedo, with honors. Her father, Joseph Acevedo, is from the De La Salle class of 1991. Jacqueline Vanessa Aguilar, with honors. Vincent Sol Aguirre. Simon James Adelano, whose father, Jesse Adelano, is from the De La Salle class of 1970. Lysandra V. Baragan. Yadira M. Barrera Almeida. Andre Lamont Bass. Christopher Benford. Francesca Marie Bertucci, whose dad, Ryan Haynes, is from the De La Salle class of 2001. Jaden Blake. <laughs> Nyla Gabrielle Bolar. Samantha J. Brost, with honors. Her father, James Brost, is from the De La Salle class of 1984. Jacqueline Marie Burroughs, with honors. Her father, Stephen Burroughs, is from the De La Salle class of 1991. <laughs> Amelia Marie Burns. Her father, Jack Burns, is from the De La Salle class of 1987. Sophia Calderon. Kira Simone Cannon. Adelise Carranza. Cecilia Chavez. Matthew Joseph Chavez with honors. Cariana A. Cintron. Elliot P. Charles Clark. Jamil J.B. Clayton. Patrick M. Coates. Leah Isabella Cobos. Natalie K. Cook. Matthew Cordova with honors. Zary Nicole Cribs. Devin Navarro Cruz. Travis Cunningham with honors.
Rachel Currington. Latrell A. Curtis, whose father, Larry Curtis, is a De La Salle grad from 1997. Angela Sophia Size, whose father, Joseph Size, is from the De La Salle class of 1986. Nyla A. Dantzler, with honors. Anaya Adriana Davis, with honors. <laughs> Ivy J. Delgadillo, with honors. Daniel Delgado, Olivia B. Gianna Denson. Armani A. Diaz. Amina Dishman. Kaylee Ray Doggins. Leonardo Dominguez with honors. Marissa Ann Marie Donegan. Layla Dulitis. Gianni Esposito, whose mother, Janet Lynn Schumann, is from the Lord High School class of 1990. William Patrick Falk. Ian Farley. Zachary Fisher. Abigail Catherine Franklin with honors. Sophia Frula. Frank Michael Galvin, with honors. His mother, Kelly Donato, is from the Lord High School class of 1987. And his father, Michael Galvin, besides being a faculty member here, is on the De La Salle class of 1984. Alejandro Garcia. Emma Garcia, whose father, Rafael Garcia, is from the De La Salle class of 1983. Garcia. Natalie Ruby Garfias. Maya Patrice Giles. Mackenzie Joya with honors. Her father, Michael Joya, is from the De La Salle class of 1984. And we're gonna keep him up here for another, for Michael James Joya.
Carmine Giso. His mother, Lisa Macchioni Giso, is from the Lord High School class of 1987. Alejandra Gonzalez. Alexander J. Gonzalez. Isaac Gonzalez. Jaden Gonzalez. Pamela Gonzalez with honors. Joseph Lee Gordon III. Andrew Grant. Jessica Marie Grork. Dimitri Michael Gutierrez. Teresa Gutierrez with honors. Sarah Henkin. Sarah's father, John Clark, is a De La Salle graduate from 1992, and he's watching us from heaven. <laughs> Judith Angelica Hernandez with honors. Enrique Javier Herrera. Blake W. Hickey. Ian Bernard Hopkins with honors. Imani Nija Horton. <laughs> Takaya Anise Howard. Yeah, Amelia Isaias. Tatum James Sachs. Filiberto Nathaniel Jimenez. Leonardo D. Jimenez Tovar with honors. Kyle Johnson. Lawrence W. Johnson, Jr. Sanaya Mary Lee Johnson. Jordan K. Jointer. <laughs> Nia Imani Jones. Latrell Knight. Joseph Kolovitz, his mother, Barb Kolovitz, is from the Lord High School class of 1989. His father, Michael Kolovitz, is from the DLSA class of 1989. Isabella Sophia Lococo with honors. Miriam Lagendoy with honors.
Jayla Michelle Levy. Jeremiah E. Lee. Joseph Lee. Tang D. Lei. Jacob Alexander Lopez. Demetrius J. Lovejoy. Benjamin Loza. Brandon Isaac Luna with honors. Jacob Julian Macias. Maeve McBroom Mangan, whose mother, Carol McBroom Mangan, is from the Lord High School class of 1986. Her father, Kevin Mangan, is from the De La Salle class of 1983. Montserrat Marquez with honors. Edward Mata. Omari McClellan Jr. Adriana L. McClinton. Amari Devin McCray. Miles K. McGee. Kayleen Karen McGrath. Anne Marie McManus, whose mother, Sharon McManus, Sharon uh, Satina McManus is from Lord High School class of 1983. Her father, John McManus, is from the De La Salle class of 1983. And they'll stay up here for Jill M Mary McManus with honors. Alexis M. Merriweather. Frederick Merriweather, Jr. Christian Meyer, with honors. Elijah Miller, Jr., with honors. Gabrielle Mitchell. Lucas L. Mazira. Ashley Loren Mongardo. Jason Moore, Jr. Karina Nicole Morales with honors. Cameron Blake Mosley. Nadia Rose Muhammad with honors. Alyssa Marie Mulhern. Skylar Mulhern. Ella Mulhern.
Jack Anthony Murahi. Alexia Lauren Nagel. Mark A. Nieto. Victor Luis Ochoa with honors. Sandy Owusu-Ana Ansa. Francisco Luis Pena Jr. Kendra Pierce. Alexa L. Pitts. Alicia Bonita Plabansky with honors. Jamal Pollard. Abigail Ponce, whose mother, Araceli Ponce, is from the Lord High School class of 1991. Ariel Pringle. Jasmine L. Pryor. Yuxan Chin. Aiden Ralph. Aiden Matthew Ramirez. Christian Ramirez. Samantha Danielle Rangel with honors. Yacqueline Lisette Reyes. Earl Donnie Rice. Jordan D. Rice. Jessica Isabel Rios. Anthony R. M. Ritter. Benjamin Ignacio Rid Rodriguez. Kayla Ronzio. Lily Rosas. Patrick John Rowe. Alexis Ruello. Adrian Ruiz. Daniela Nicole Scalise with honors. Her dad is Russell Scalise from the class of 1987. Sydney Petra Schaefer. Lucy Lorabelle Schiller, whose granddad is Jim Bansley from the class of 1947. Wow. Gianna Nicole Sharp. Julian Niam Sibley. Oh 
Felicity Sierra with honors. Lucas James Sontag. Dylan Matthew Sopran with honors. Alexandra Soto. Mustafa Kareem St. Clair. Rebecca Suarez with honors. Zheng Sun. Margaret Swanborn with honors. L'Oreal Talley. Adeline Tassoni, who with honors, her dad is Benjamin Tassoni from the class of 1980. Naomi Sierra Ruth Taylor. <laughs> Willie Ellis Taylor Jr. Alyssa Tellez. Aaron Jamal Taylor. Eugene C. Thiel. Jordan Thompson, whose dad, Robert Thompson, is from the De La Salle class of 1981. Robert Thornton. Dorothy Darlene Tillman. Jillian Joanne Tolbert with honors. Cesar Torres. Samira Tucker. Michaela O. Turner. Ethan Jackson Verner. Joseph S. Vinson, whose father Peter Vinson is from the De La Salle class of 1988. Cade Iverson Walker, whose father Karan Walker is from the De La Salle class of 1996. Isaiah Joshua Washington with honors. Anaya Watts. Jalen Lee Welsh. Shannon Renee Wilshire. Terrence Young, Jr. Ixwan Yang. Yep. 
Kelly Alicia Zotamba with honors. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 126th graduating class of Deal Cell Institute, the class of 2021. He tells them to, yeah. I just thought that was cool. Please be seated. Okay. I would like to present to you the principal of Deal Cell and a member of the class of 1997, Mr. Thomas Sherrigan, who will offer the closing remarks. Father Novak, Mr. McCoy, and members of the board of directors. Administration, faculty, parents, and friends, and graduates. Tonight is a joyous occasion, and I am honored to address you, the class of 2021. Over the last year, we have experienced something like never before in our lives. We have used the words unfair, unprecedented, unsure, and even unknown. This virus may have altered your senior year, and traditional graduation, but it cannot and will not steal your future. Mark my words, COVID-19 will not stand in the way of your hopes and your dreams. You are part of a global community of LaSallean students, thousands of students who are wrapping up a chapter in their life and starting a new one. And your hard work has not gone unnoticed. Your dedication, commitment, and determination still remain true. While you will always remember this challenging and yes, occasional painful time, you will also be the generation that doesn't take anything for granted. Because of your experiences, you will appreciate what you have and what you will earn. You'll value your relationships, you'll make the most of your opportunities, and you will create a great future. I know it could be easy to succumb to the feelings of bitterness but I encourage you to choose wisely, be focused, and go forward with a positive attitude. Remember to look forward, stay positive, work hard, and believe the best is yet to come. What you believe will, be ter will determine what you create. Here are a few things to remember. Number one, you are here for a reason, and the most important thing you can do in life is to find live and share your purpose. It's the one thing in life that truly matters. And if you don't pursue it, everything else is meaningless. Number two, follow your passion. It so often leads you to your purpose. You may not know what your passion is right now. That's okay. The important thing is to make it your life mission to find your passion and then live it and share it with all of us. Number three, there isn't a prescriptive path toward finding your purpose. It is a journey filled with mystery, signs, obstacles, victories, dead ends, delays, and detours. Your job is to stay the course. Be optimistic and faithful on your quest. Number four, be the coffee bean. At the beginning of the school year, I challenge you to be the coffee bean and discover the power inside of you to transform your environment. You have collectively transformed our environment at De La Salle, and I encourage you to continue discovering your passion as it will guide you into your future. The past four years have been an amazing time of change and growth for you at De La Salle Institute. And we are proud of the powerful effect you have made on the life of your school. For your outstanding participation and achievement in academics, extracurriculars, and athletics. We praise you. For your relentless energy and dedication to the LaSallean spirit, we celebrate you. Regardless of where you attended grade school or where you live, you have taken your places as members of the De La Salle LaSallean community, 
a community we call Meteors United. We are united in faith, service, community, social justice, and the pursuit of excellence. You have united to demonstrate growth, support each other, and create successful experiences. You have all been a gift to our LaSallean community, and I have been, been fortunate to witness Meteors United in action every day at DLSL. Tonight, we marvel at how you have grown and matured, and we know that within each one of you is a vibrant and fiery spirit. It is that spirit and that drive that has made you successful throughout the past four years, not only as individuals, but as also as a faith-filled community of learners who have maintained a positive presence within our school. Please remember that you will always be a part of our community. With your diploma in hand, you will become the newest members of the DeLaSalle Alumni Association. Please stay in touch and come back often. Tonight, as we celebrate our graduates, we also ce celebrate your parents and guardians. Thank you for entrusting us with the education of these fine young women and men and for your continued support of our programs. We appreciate the sacrifices you have made to provide them, provide them with a Catholic and Lasallian education that is second to none. It has been an honor and a pleasure to work with you, and we will miss the partnerships we have formed. We hope that you too will remain connected with the LaSalle. Seniors, as we bid you farewell, please know that we do so with mixed emotions. We are grateful for the many roles you have played and the contributions that you have made and have pos and positively influenced the reputation of De La Salle Institute. More importantly, we love you and we thank you for touching our hearts as much as we, as we have tried to touch yours. Congratulations, best wishes in all that you do, and may St. John Baptist De La Salle continue to bless you and guide you as you move forward. I would now like to ask our graduates to stand up. Since we are graduating with caps and tassels this year, I'd like to do the official mark the completion of graduation by moving your tassels from the right to the left. Once again, congratulations and good luck. Please remain standing for our closing prayer. Before we exit this evening, I'd like to congratulate another first. This is Mr. Shergan's first baccalaureate here at De La Salle. Didn't he do a great job, everyone? No, actually, Father Paul, it's his second because he did graduate in 1997, yeah. but it's the first one out here on the field. Okay. <laughs> and I would like to ask the members of the class of 2021 to pay a special tribute to a gentleman who graduated here in 1950 who joined us tonight. Tonight, he's celebrating the 30th member of his family to graduate from De La Salle. Mr. James Bansley from the class of 1950. And let us pray. Almighty God, may the gift of your spirit be upon our graduates this night. May the gift of the spirit be in their minds and hearts and carry them through the journey of their lives. May the gift of your spirit and blessing be upon them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, we ask your blessing upon our families and, and guardians who have got, lived and guided these young women and men to academic success and achievement. Bless our families and keep them strong and faithful in, in health of mind, body, and spirit. May your blessing be upon our families, in the of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And Almighty God, we ask your blessing upon our faculty, staff, and administration, and our board of trustees. We ask that you send your spirit to help renew them through the gift of this summer sabbatical and help them be ready 
year. May your blessing be upon them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our baccalaureate celebration is complete. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. John Baptist de La Salle. Pray for us. Our Lady of Lords. Pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts. Thank you for being a part of our commencement exercises this evening. That's right. Please remain in your seats as the administration, faculty, and graduates process out. Again, a reminder to the graduates as you process out that you do uh, stop in the toll foyer to pick up your diplomas. Finally, to the graduates of the class of 2021, rah, I rah, say rah. thanks I got, I and have a great day. Just a reminder, our field will stay open.